Hundreds of crews are headed to the McKinney Fire from the Sacramento area with special equipment to protect private property, people, and infrastructure. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf tells us how resources are being reorganized from the Oak Fire very quickly. There's not really much of a rest. They're just going from one fire right to the other. Chief Brian Estes from Cal Fire's Nevada Yuba Placer Unit was ready when he got the call to help fight the McKinney Fire five hours north in Siskiyou County. We've sent a strike team of engines, which is five engines and a leader, and a strike team of dozers, which is two full dozers and the, all the uh, associated equipment, plus some overhead. Another type one on order. This is video from the front lines as they battled the state's largest fire this year. Crews worry it could spread rapidly given current conditions. So you have the threat of thunderstorms mixed with that red flag warning, and that could prove really dangerous. In the last 24 hours, we've had upwards of six to 700 confirmed downstrikes north of, of uh, Placer and Nevada counties. Um, the north end of the state obviously is getting hit really hard. Estes anticipates more resources will be sent because more fires could spark. CAL FIRE HAS ENTERED INTO UNIFIED COMMAND, TAPPING INTO LOCAL FIRE DEPARTMENTS LIKE SAC METRO FIRE, WHICH SENT TWO STRIKE TEAMS WITH SPECIAL EQUIPMENT FOR VEGETATION FIRES AND STRUCTURE PROTECTION. THE MCKINNEY FIRE SPECIFICALLY, WHILE IT'S BURNING IN THE NATIONAL FOREST SYSTEM, THERE IS A TREMENDOUS THREAT TO PRIVATE PROPERTY, INCLUDING COMMUNITIES LIKE HAPPY CAMP, uh, FORT JONES, uh, and, AND EVEN THE COMMUNITY OF WAIRICA. ESTES SAYS THERE ARE OTHER SMALLER FIRES SPARKED BY LIGHTNING THAT ARE ALSO BEING ADDRESSED IN THAT AREA AND HERE CLOSER TO HOME. A Typical weather pattern mixed with atypical dry fuels that's making these types of firefights more frequent. Well, Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency for Siskiyou County that will open up access to federal and state aid.